Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? Everybody tapping in. Let's go. Man, sorry that uh I'm a little bit late here. Was getting off of work and uh it's been crazy. It's been crazy right now. So my apologies. Hold on for a second, about to start it up. All right, that's better. That's better. Here we go. Let's get it. Yo, I'm mad late, but it's all good. We here. Interesting game so far. Alabama is up 10-3. Let's go. Cincinnati Bearcats versus Alabama Crimson Tide. Yo, I missed the whole first quarter, but at the first quarter, it looks like it was 7-3. Alabama got the early lead. It looks like they still have the lead right now. Alabama right now, bro, scored a field goal not too long ago. So now they're up 10-3. I'm coming in real late because, you know, just got off of work. So my bad. We're going to go ahead and cover this game. And then I'm also going to make sure I cover the next game. So right now I'm going for Alabama. I don't know what everybody else is going for. I need Alabama to win this game because I need them to make the championship game for the national. I'm not an Alabama fan, but for sure I need them to win. Why? Because there's a bet riding on this with one of my good friends. So I need Alabama to make it to the championship. Right now, the score is 10-3. If you're just tuning in, I just got started. Cincinnati right now. Cincinnati, only three points. Right now, it's fourth and five on the Cincinnati 31. Not looking too good. Alabama dominating as expected. Cincinnati right now, 13-0. Alabama, 12-1. Looks like Alabama right now is in control. Three minutes, 39 seconds to go in the second quarter. This has been a very, very interesting game. I've only been catching pieces of it because, uh, of course, I was at work, so I wasn't able to go ahead and catch all of the first quarter, and I missed a good chunk of the second quarter. But right now, the score is 10-3. It looks like it's first and 10. Alabama gets the ball back on the Alabama 6. So right now, just waiting to see what they're going to do once they come back from commercial break. Right now, who has Alabama? Who has uh, Cincinnati? What's the picks out there? I'm going with Alabama on this one. Going with Alabama on this one. Let me go ahead and take a moment to uh, send out my links. Give me a second here. Going to go ahead and share the live. Yes, so we got right now, we got the big time game today. So I think the college games are going to go, I think it's going to end up being Bama, and then it's probably going to be Georgia. I think that uh, Alabama is going to dominate this one, um, you know, for most of the game, if not all of the game. And then I think that uh, it's going to be Georgia because I almost feel like they have to do a rematch, you know what I'm saying? Because Georgia has to almost, you know, get a uh, – a little bit of payback, you know what I'm saying? They lost to Alabama. Like, they got dominated nasty against um, Alabama. So I almost feel like it's a necessity for Georgia to win this one so that they can go ahead and get their payback, you know what I'm saying? So going Alabama and going for Georgia. I think of the two games, I think Georgia, um, that game's going to be a little bit more competitive. I think this one with Alabama, it's probably going to be an easy game, even though right now the score is only with seven points. I got a feeling that it's going to end up being a very, very easy game for Alabama overall. I think once they get into like more of a rhythm, I think the Bearcats are not going to have too much of a chance. I mean, most people are saying Cincinnati shouldn't even have made it, to be honest, because of the fact that Cincinnati is, uh, you know, they're not they're not really playing anybody that's good. So they're playing Alabama. They're probably going to lose against Bama. You feel me? It's uh, this should be an easy one for Alabama. But so far, it looks like it's a tight score right now. It's 10-3. You know what I'm saying? Alabama, you know, getting the early lead. Two minutes and 22 seconds remaining in the second quarter right now. And uh, I'm, I'm saying it here right now. I'm going with Alabama and I'm going with Georgia. Those are going to be the two picks. I want to see those guys go heads up. I want to see them face off. I want to make sure that, like, there's an opportunity for Georgia to be able to go ahead and get their revenge on Alabama. So we got to see the two juggernauts face off again. Uh, I think it would be a disappointing end 
if Alabama and Georgia did not face off, you know, against each other in the national championship. So I'm going Alabama and I'm going Georgia. And right now, Alabama seems to be in control. So right now, that is, uh, you know, that's uh, one of the picks I've got for today. Alabama right now has a first and 10 on a 42. So right now, Alabama is in control. They have two minutes and 11 seconds to go in the second quarter. Uh, I think they're going to push the ball relatively quick. And I think they're going to end up scoring at least seven on this one. They should be able to get seven. They might settle for three, but I think they're going to score seven. I think they're going to go into halftime going up 17 to three. If that happens, I don't see Cincinnati making a comeback. So right now, Cincinnati, only three points. Ain't much going on with Cincinnati at the moment. Right now, they don't have too much going on. So uh, this should be an easy one for Bama. Has anybody been watching the game from the beginning? If you have, fill me in because I got in about 10, 15 minutes ago and I've missed a big chunk of the game because, uh, like I said, I was coming coming through from work, had to hurry up, get the live stream going. So we finally got the live stream going. And right now I see that Alabama has not disappointed so far. So far they are up 10-3. So it looks like right now they're in complete control. It is second and 10 at the Cincinnati 44 right now. Alabama is in complete control right now. They're moving the ball relatively quick, trying to get a quick score here in the last one minute and 44 seconds to go. Who do you guys have to pick as the winner? I'm picking Bama and I'm picking Georgia. Bama to win this game, Georgia to win the uh, 730 game tonight. Rematch is a must. Got to get the rematch. You got to get that Bama Georgia rematch for the national championship. It's got to be done. I think there's no other way and no other fitting way for it to go other than that rematch. So I see it going that way. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is going to take the victory today? I think Bama's going to get this one easy. It should be a, a 24 or 27 to 10 or maybe like 33 to 20 or something like that. I think, honestly, it's going to be an easy one for Bama. So right now, um, let's see. Ooh, damn, Bama scores. Oh, shit. Just like I said, too, I was like, yo, they're about to score quick. And, uh, yeah, they moved the ball up relatively quick. Uh, they were at 2 minutes and 11 seconds when they were still on their side. And now with a minute and 36 seconds remaining, they actually went and scored a touchdown. So at the moment, right now, it should be 16-3 Alabama. If they go in halftime 17-3 and Cincinnati doesn't get at least another field goal in before this half is over, uh, I see them having no chance in the second half. Even though we know that in college football, anything could happen. And in college football, there's always an opportunity to make a comeback because, you know, everybody scores uh, pretty fast, especially in the second half. It seems to be like the third and the fourth quarters where most of the great teams seem to shine. So I've got a feeling that Cincinnati is going to do their best and try, but I think Alabama is still going to crush them. Right now, they're up 17-3. It's official. One minute and 36 seconds to go. So I do not see Cincinnati having a chance in this one. But I'm not going to not gonna count my chickens before the eggs hatch, is how they say it. So, But Alabama with a quick move, man, quick move. They were, they were literally just up 10-3. And now to score update, 17-3 at the moment. They scored so fast. Uh, I think that was in about 35 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. 35 seconds of clock was all that Alabama took in order for them to score this touchdown and get the one-point field goal. Um, honestly, I thought they were going to try to burn a little bit more clock to not leave time for Cincinnati to go ahead and get the football back. However, Alabama doesn't seem to want to waste time. So they went in there. They got their touchdown. They got their field goal. They got another seven, and they did it in about 35 seconds of football time. So that was pretty fast. Let's see if Cincinnati can go ahead and turn it around. I mean, a minute and change is enough time. Um, it's not a lot of time, but it is enough time to possibly get at least within field goal range so that they can be able to go ahead and at least put three on the board at the bare minimum. So if Cincinnati doesn't score on this one, um, I don't see them making a comeback. I think they need a touchdown, but at bare minimum, they need to get that three point, the three points for the field goal. So let's see. Let's see if uh, Cincinnati can uh, show up. Let's see. What's up? The homie showed up here, of course. Real big dog. Underscore 205, I already know who that is. Road Tide, my boy, says, let's go. I will be on the Road Tide just for this game. Going Road Tide just for this game. For the championship game, I will not be going Road Tide. But for this one specifically, 
We need Roll Tide to win. So let's go Roll Tide. I am on Crimson side for this game. Big time game. Big time score, 17-3. Alabama crushing it right now, up 14 points. Alabama literally scored in 35 seconds. Right now, Cincinnati has the football first and 10. They're at Alabama 47. They're moving the ball relatively quick themselves. There's 58 seconds left on the clock in the second quarter. Will Cincinnati be able to go ahead and threaten the score with seven, or will they have to settle for three? Time will tell. Right now, we're waiting to go ahead and see if Cincinnati is going to go ahead and get this touchdown, because if they score, I think this is going to make it so much more competitive in the third quarter and just in the second half overall. But if they do not score or at least get a minimum of three, Alabama is going to continue to run that freight train all over Cincinnati. The Bearcats have got to wake up right now. They are second and 10 at the Alabama 47. They did nothing special on that uh, on that initial play. And uh, right now, they're running out of time, 47 seconds to go. So they've got to move. They've got to move as fast or as or even faster than Alabama did when they scored on the uh, the previous drive. Right now, Roll Tide doing it big. Roll Tide doing it big. Let me go ahead and put the score update because Roll Tide right now, they are up 17-3, to complete domination. To me, this is not, you know – it is not a big surprise that the lead is this big at the moment. However, I will say that Cincinnati has got to pick it up. They've got to score before this uh, this second quarter is over. If they don't get at least three, they're, they're done. They're definitely done. I'll be streaming this all the way to the end, but if they don't get at least three, they, need, they, they really need a touchdown. But if they don't get at least three, they're over. They're going to be crushed. They're going to be deflated. They're going to be defeated. They're not going to make any turnaround. They're not going to make any comeback in the second half. Uh, so right now it's third and 10 Cincinnati still with no success right now is still at the Alabama 47 and right now it is looking bleak as far as Cincinnati getting that touchdown possibility I think they're gonna have to either settle for three if not they're gonna have to settle for jelly donuts which is zero so anytime I say jelly donuts you already know that means zero that means zero nada goose egg so right now it looks like Cincinnati man no good fourth and 14 at the Cincinnati 49, it is not looking good, man. So Cincinnati doesn't look like they're going to be converting any points on this particular drive. And there's 31 seconds left to go in the second quarter. It looks like Bama should be able to hold them off. And uh, Cincinnati, man, screwing up. You move the football. They, they moved it relatively quick. They had it at a minute and 27 seconds. They moved it over the 50 at roughly about 40-something seconds, almost 50 seconds. So they moved it fast. Unfortunately, Cincinnati did not convert. So right now, it looks like there's two seconds remaining in the quarter. And right now, I don't think Cincinnati is going to get anything additional other than the three little points that they have at the moment. Alabama, absolute domination right now. It looks like it's about to go into halftime. But the score right now is 17-3. I see this game being 34-6, to six, if I'm being honest. I'm basically just doubling the points for each team. I think Bama will get at least 34, if not 40, and Cincinnati will probably end up with only about 6, maybe 10 points. Um, you know, for a team that's 13-0, and 0, they absolutely suck, if, if we're being honest here. They absolutely suck for a 13-0 and 0 team. And uh, true story here, I went to the uh, – uh, this game – this game that I went to recently, uh, maybe about a month or two ago, was the Tampa Bay Bucks game, right? I show up there, and there's a kid in there that, uh, you know, he was telling me, he's like, yo, do you think Cincinnati deserves to even be, uh, you know, in the in the playoffs, in the Final Four, et cetera? And I'm like, yo, you know, college, it is what it is. It's however the card is laid. You know, whatever you do against the teams you get, that's just how it is. So a lot of people believe that Cincinnati, you know, they just kind of had like a cakewalk, you know what I'm saying? That the 13 and 0 isn't really like a real 13 and 0. They didn't play real solid teams. You know what I'm saying? Like real credible teams, uh, real programs. So, uh, you know, that's kind of showing here right now because, you know, 17 3, you know, at the half, you had the opportunity to go ahead and score possibly either a field goal or threaten to maybe potentially get a touchdown. You get it past the 50 yard line and you don't do shit with it. So that's pretty embarrassing for a team to be 13 and 0 and only have three points right now against the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide, I think that's super embarrassing right now to be 13-0, and 0, to be undefeated. If I'm not mistaken, 
they're either the only undefeated team remaining or one of the two remaining undefeated teams, which is a joke to me because you're undefeated 13 and 0, but right now you don't look like you're an undefeated team. You know what I'm saying? So this is a complete shit show right now by the uh, Cincinnati Bearcats. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I don't know if they're out there playing football kind of high. I wouldn't recommend playing football high because it slows you down. Maybe they're all high because right now their score is looking slow. You know what I'm saying? So halftime, 17-3. That's the score at the moment. We're going to go ahead and wait for that halftime. Hopefully halftime don't take forever. You know, NFL uh, Pro Football now has their halftime at 15-minute marks. Hopefully college is going to be, uh, for this particular game, is going to be the same. But, yes, yeah, 17-3, man. Bama right now in full control. 17-3. Bama's killing it right now. Uh, I think uh, Sin has got to Sin has got to pick it up. Sin has got to pick it up real bad. We got another comment here. Looks like Shay says roll tide. Shay showing up. So we got first the homie real big dog says let's go Bama. And now we got Shay showing up saying roll tide. So we got two roll tide fans tuning in right now. Looks like we got two people with the roll tide crew. Three, technically, if you count me. I'm only going with Roll Tide for today. Uh, I got a bet against my friends, so I almost need Roll Tide to win today. So, yeah, we're going with the Roll Tide today. But, uh, you know, after that, I'm going to have to go against them. But this is going to be interesting because right now, so far, it's looking good. Bama has shown no signs of slack. Uh, they were able to dominate Georgia uh, when they went heads up. Now they're playing the undefeated Cincinnati 13-0. Looks like they're killing them right now. It's like there is no option at the moment for Cincinnati. Bama is taking care of business. And right now we're waiting to see uh, once it comes back from halftime, will Cincinnati turn it around? Or are they just going to continue to be like one of those dogs getting walked out in the park, you know, just shitting everywhere? Because right now it looks like it's a shit show. It looks like they're shitting all over the grass, you know. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. They're 13-0. and 0. They don't look 13-0. and 0. They look like they're, uh, you know, maybe like a, a – uh, a five, a five and seven, five, eight, whatever the hell the score is, you know, five. They're like a, a team that's only won five games, like five serious games. You know what I'm saying? 13 and oh, that's why I always say numbers. They always say uh, men lie, women lie. Numbers don't. Right. I believe numbers do lie. Proof right here. Proof is in the pudding that lies. Numbers do lie. They can't lie. They can be fabricated. They can tell you a falsified story because Cincinnati's 13 and 0, Bama is 12 and 1, and right now Bama looks like they're 12 and 1. They look more like they're 15 and 0 to be honest, and Cincinnati who's 13 and 0, they kind of look like a complete shit show. They look like they are a 5 and 8 team. They look like they've had more losses than wins even though they're 13 and 0. So for me, I think this should be an easy victory for Alabama, but we will see if Cincinnati turns it around. We're going to see Still two more quarters to go. You know how college is. Anything can happen with college. You just never know. At this point, uh, I think Roll Tide has definitely got it. But we're going to stream it all the way through. And we're going to see if uh, Cincinnati go goes and uh, turns this one around. If you guys think, if anybody at all is going for Cincinnati, please let me know if you're going for Cincinnati, why you're going for Cincinnati. Are you, are you like from there? Do you just like the team? Is there specific players you like on there? Uh, let me know, because honestly, this game is going to be a shit show in the second half. I don't think that the Bearcats have anything to do to be able to uh, turn this game around. So uh, we'll see. 17-3. That's what it is. We got another comment here dropping by. We got uh, Slap Nut Ninja 1. Uh, the name is funny. Like the name. Uh, no pun intended. Says RTR. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We will see. We will see. So uh, giving you a shout out. The name, dope. Uh, definitely like the uh, the photo, too, uh, for your profile. Uh, that's pretty funny, and it's pretty comedic, too, as well. So had to show you support. And uh, he says, thank you. Of course, of course. Giving shout outs to anybody who shows up to the live stream to talk. Uh, you can drop like, comment, subscribe. We're streaming on YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Twitch. Uh, the Facebook thing has been an absolute crap show. So with Facebook, uh, they seem to be haters. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg, I don't know if you're a hater. I don't know if your tech guys are haters. But anytime that I've started streaming, you know, look, I don't put anything copyrighted related on here. 
So I don't know why Facebook continues to uh, try to put me in Facebook jail, but that's just what it is. So no more Facebook. I'll put the YouTube link in Facebook if you're following me on Facebook. But as far as doing a live stream through the Facebook channel, uh, we're not going to do that anymore because they suck. And the homie dropped by again. Real big dog underscore 205 says got the Coronas on deck and we in here lit. He says still game to be played, but we on top right now. Roll tie, roll tie, roll tie, roll tie. Uh, most definitely. Um, I think I'm going to have to take like a 60 second break to go ahead and get me uh, my adult beverages because I was actually going to get Coronas. But what I did was I ended up getting me some. Uh, what do I have? I have uh, I think I bought me some Jack and I think I got me some uh, Bud Light. So I'm about to uh, go off the camera for like 60 seconds or for like two quick minutes about to pop the bottles and we're about to see what's up. We're about to. Uh, Get it popping. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me actually do that right now because it's halftime. So this is, a, this is a perfect time to go ahead and, uh, you know, get this orchestrated. So, guys, I'm going to leave the live stream on. Don't disconnect. I'm leaving the live stream on. If you don't see me on the camera for a sec, just going to go ahead and get a beverage. You know, got to stay cool, calm, and collected through this uh, game. Happy to be here. Uh, happy New Year's, by the way. Happy New Year's Eve. New Year's Day is on the way soon. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and live stream both games. I'll be back in a sec. About to get a, about to get a, some beer and some liquor. I'll be back in like two minutes. Yep, I'm getting the uh, my beverages ready, guys. So just to let you know, I'm still here. I have not left. Don't worry, the live stream is not being turned off. 
Just had to go ahead and get some refreshments because it is halftime. So getting, you know, nice little beer right here. You know, it's New Year's. So we got to, you know, we got to celebrate. Just trying to go ahead and uh, get this beer popped right here. We got, uh, you know what I'm saying? We got this, got that. That's the beer of choice today. Some Bud Light. And then we got this right here. Let me see if it shows on the camera. Camera be boofy sometimes. Uh, it's hard to see it. You see that? There it is. Boom. That's that honey jack. You feel me? That honey jack. So I'm about to pop that open in a sec. Got the beer open already. Let's take a sip. Woo! Nice and refreshing. Nothing better than having a, a nice cold drink. You feel me? Especially when you're running that live stream. I've done some of these live streams in the past where it's like, yo, I'll be like dry like sand. It'd be like I'm in a desert. You feel me? And I don't be drinking no water, no nothing, just to entertain you guys. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, we got to get this. We, you know, it's New Year's Eve. You feel me? We got to get this done the right way. We got to start, you know, having some some drinks up in this bitch, you know, have some liquor, have some beer. So uh, I'm just trying to get this. Uh, this jack open right here and as soon as i get this i'm about to start sipping on this right here pause no pun intended you feel me i know some of y'all be uh y'all be funny business with that shit so i gotta say no pun intended every time that there's a possibility of something being misspoken misthought or misintended but yo bama right now crushing it 17-3 if you're just tuning in because i sent out some links right now through instagram I uh, sent some out through uh, Snapchat. Uh, if you're tuning in right now, score 17-3. Bama crushing it right now. I'm going for Bama. And uh, I'm expecting Georgia to be able to go ahead and handle their business against Michigan later on today. I'm going to be streaming that game too. So right now, woo, let's get it. Let's get it. This game is about to start soon. Let me go ahead and see if it's already on. Still halftime. Don't worry. But we ain't closing the live stream. You feel me? So if anybody else is drinking out there, are y'all drinking? You know, they say it's five o'clock somewhere. Right now, it's been five o'clock over here on my side. Shoo, I'm about to start drinking right now. We're about to start drinking early. We're about to get lit before this uh, before this midnight hit. What y'all doing for New Year's Eve? Anybody want to comment what their plans are? My plans are going to be these two games. I was going to spend time with the family, but unfortunately... Uh, I hate to say it, but some of my family members, a few of them had gotten uh, sick. So uh, some of them got the C19. And to be safe, to make sure that I don't get it or nobody else gets it, we decided to everybody stay home. You know, everybody stay in their respective, uh, you know, this respective homes and apartments. Make sure we don't start 2022 with tragedies. You feel me? So I'm going to be live streaming both games initially. I wasn't going to live stream none of these games, if I'm being honest with y'all, because I wanted to, you know, like y'all want to enjoy time with y'all family. I wanted to do the same, enjoy time with my family too. But I'm going to be at the cribbo. I'm going to be here. So, uh, and I don't think I want to go out tonight either, because it's probably going to be mad traffic. You know how that goes. So I think I'm going to just kick back, relax, enjoy these two games. You feel me? And uh, we're going to rock and roll. We're just going to rock and roll here. So if y'all want to... Stick to the live stream and uh, watch game two with Georgia and Michigan. I'll be streaming that too. So we're about to get lit up in here. I already got the bottle open. We got the Bud Light ready. I'm trying to find my uh, my shot glasses. If I don't find them, I'm about to, just, about to just be sipping straight through the bottle. Pause, no pun intended. But uh, I'm trying to find the shot glasses because... Uh, Want to take a few shots with y'all on the camera. Anybody else drinking? Who else drinking? We got uh, Megan. Megan pulled up. Says, Vo FYI. I'm not sure what that means. If you want to elaborate, let us know what you mean. Let us know. All I know is road tie today. We're on the road tie bandwagon. And we are, we are looking for Bama to dominate. And then I think Georgia is definitely going to kill them, too. Georgia's going to kill Michigan, I think. And it's going to be an interesting national game. Right now, it's, uh, let's see, 17-3. Yep. So
All right, so right now I can't find my shot glasses. So I think I'm gonna just drink from the bottle, you know, do it like a G. We're gonna do it like a real G out here, real G stuff. You feel me? One of my homies said he's already got the coronas ready. Oof, if I was dead, you already know what time it is. I'd be all up in that corona too. Pause, no pun intended. Yep. Let's see. Let's see if the game started yet. Looks like it's about to start soon. Let's get it. What y'all drinking? I'm drinking beer, and I'm going to be drinking this uh, this honey right here. Woo, got the honey. We got this one. Man, I wish this uh, virtual background wasn't screwing it up. This virtual background be boofy boof. It's like I showed it earlier, though. Who y'all got? Who y'all got? Yo, is there anybody that's going for Cincinnati? I'm just curious. I don't think so, but I'm just curious. I just want to know: is there anybody that's legit going right now for uh, for Cincinnati? I just want to know. I'm I'm just uh, I'm curious to find out because you know you never know. There might be some Cincinnati fans tuning in. Let me see. Game, not yet. Game still at halftime. All right, we got time. We got time. All right, I'm going to just send a few more links right now. We still at halftime. Send a few more links. Started my drinking early easy. Let's get it, man, oh, man. Alabama dominating right now, 17-3. No surprise, but, whoo, they're dominating. Yep, I'm just waiting right now, guys, for the game to start getting my drinks ready because the game still hasn't started just yet. So I'm just getting my shit together over here. Again, if y'all tuning in right now, you know what I'm saying? You know I came in late, so my bad that I came in late. But, yo, we got at least at least a decent amount of the second quarter in. And uh, the first quarter, I had to miss it because, you know, your boy was at work, had to make that cheese. They're paying that times two. For pulling up today, so you know I was about to pull up, pull up, pull in, and then pull out. You feel me? Never forget to pull out, by the way. Always, always remember to pull out. Never forget that. Yep. Still looks like it's still half time, 17-3. I think college halftime be a lot longer than um, what's it called? I think they be uh, they be taking way longer. Just making sure sending out these links, you feel me? Because we are here streaming on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. I'm just trying to make sure everybody tuning in. Everybody's tuning in. For those just joining again, that's the score right now. 
has been a complete ass kicking right now. Cincinnati with nothing to show for it. Nothing. They've been getting their shit handed to them. Woo, baby. Let's get it. I'm waiting for this halftime shit to be done. Yo, how many people like college football more than professional football? I think in a lot of ways, bro, college football is more exciting, if I'm being honest. Like, you get you get a lot more high-scoring games. You get a lot more competition. And you get a lot more people that, you know, that actually want to compete in shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like pro football sometimes be extra rigged. Sometimes certain games in college, I think, be rigged. But for the most part, I think, you feel me? I think uh, college football, man, that's the, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Still waiting for that halftime to finish. Oh, halftime. Yo, for anybody watching too, yo, let me let y'all know this these streams. I'm going to start putting some of y'all on the map. So if y'all ever want to come to a stream and y'all want to just talk sports, y'all want to talk about whatever, man, you're welcome to join. I'll send you the link so you can get in. You could be on here. You just got to make sure for whoever wants to join, you know, live stream one day. You just got to make sure, you know, you got a headpiece, you know, like a head headphones with a, that, with a mic built in. Uh, if not, you know, you can have yourself like an official microphone and have your headphones connected separately. Make sure you got a laptop and a camera, and I'll put you on. You feel me? Because I'm trying to get more people. I've, I've had my best friend on here like two or three times, but, you know, I want to make sure I share the love with other people, too, that like to talk sports. Or if y'all just want to talk about something that's not sports-related and it's interesting, yo, let me know. We could live stream that shit, put you on, and get you on here talking. You feel me? Speak your mind. We're trying to grow in 2022. You feel me? We're trying to make everybody grow. Everybody that's a supporter. We're trying to make everybody grow. If you show support, if you're up here subscribing to my stuff, liking my stuff, sharing it, dropping a comment, I'm down to have you on the platform one day. So if you ever want to get on for something for sports, if you want to talk about something with politics, if you want to talk about something regarding relationships, if you want to talk about shit about uh, fuck boys or fuck girls, or all kind of other stuff, you feel me? You can jump on a platform. It could be about all kinds of topics. Right now, we're doing sports. But, you know, in the future, I'm going to diversify the platform and we're going to get more topics on here. A lot of people have been telling me we should start doing relationship topics. So that might be something in the future. We'll see. Get, you know, men and women's perspectives on things and see how shit goes. But if you're just tuning in, uh, halftime is finally over. It looks like third quarter is about to start. Alabama's up 17-3. Cincinnati tried their best to score a field goal or a touchdown before the end of the second. And unfortunately, the shit did not work out for them. So right now, it looks like Cincinnati will be getting the ball first. So they may potentially have an opportunity here to go ahead and score. Um, at the moment, I don't think Cincinnati is going to win this game. But we're going to watch it to the very end because we want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, that Roll Tide does their job, that they stick to the assignment, win, but also dominate. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this. We're about to get it going. Yep, it looks like right now uh, Cincinnati has gotten the ball up to the 34-yard line. Cincinnati has the football right now with second and one at the moment. It's 14 minutes and 50 seconds in quarter number three. And right now, score is still 17-3. Let's see if Cincinnati got the uh, the pep talk that they needed at halftime by the coach. And let's see if they're going to go ahead and change this shit around. Let's see if they're going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make it competitive. You feel me? I know Alabama's expected to dominate. That ain't, you know, that ain't no surprise. But, uh, you know, damn, show up a little bit. You feel me? Make it competitive. At least try. Three points? That ain't trying. You feel me? Three points is not trying. 
That's not even close to trying. So uh, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get this money. If, if they're going to do something, it will be nice for them to go ahead and get it started right here, right now. This is where you want to go. This is where you want to be, right here. So uh, Cincinnati, let's see how they're going to turn it around. 14 minutes, 34 seconds. The third quarter literally just started, and Cincinnati is with the football right now. Waiting to see if they're going to go ahead and change this around. Right now, I don't see uh, I don't see too much action going on. Waiting to see what Cincinnati is about to do. I feel like this game is going to fly by so quick. And I think that the uh, the the Michigan and Georgia game, that game is going to take a sweet time. That's going to be the game to see if, uh, you know, see if it's going to be challenging because that may be more competitive. This one right here is going to be an easy victory. Looks like Cincinnati. Uh, it's got a first and 10. First and 10. 14 minutes, two seconds remaining in the third. They got a first, but it's not a whole lot of movement. You know what I'm saying? There's not a whole lot of action going on with Cincinnati right now. Well, right now, Cincinnati, uh, second and one on their own 45. So they are getting a little bit of success right now. And it looks like at the moment, you know, they might be able to cross that that uh, 50 yard line and try to go ahead and make a threat to the score. They tried to do that in the previous quarter. They didn't have any success. They didn't even get close enough to get to the uh, to the uh, red zone. They completely failed. and got shut down by the Alabama defense. So right now, it looks like. Uh, Cincinnati first and 10 again, and now they're on the Alabama 48. Alabama defense has got to pick it up because right now it looks like that defense is slacking. Uh, 13 minutes and 18 seconds to go in the third, and right now Cincinnati making moves right now. They get in there slowly but surely. It looks like they're going to be on the Bama 48. So right now they they, they, they put in pressure. They put in pressure right now. So I think uh, Crimson Tide need to wake up. Don't slack on the D, and uh, let's make it happen. Now it looks like it's uh, first and 10 on the Alabama 36. So Cincinnati's making moves. Cincinnati's making moves. I think they're trying to make this game more competitive. It's about to be lit. It's about to be serious right now. On the 36 on Alabama side, getting closer and closer to that red zone. Boom. Another big-time play by Cincinnati. It's good for nine yards. They get a they get it at second and one at Alabama 27. They're they're literally right there facing the red zone. Like they're literally smelling the red zone right now. Second and one, Alabama 27 yard line, 12 minutes, 15 seconds in the third quarter. Bama still up by 14. You know, until Cincinnati can score a touchdown, I'm not gonna feel like Alabama has anything to worry about. But Right now, Cincinnati, you know, they've gotten it as close as the 27-yard line. That might be the best that they've done in the entire game so far. And so uh, let's see if they actually convert on this one. Let's see if they score because it's been a complete shit show for them. Second and one, Alabama 27. It's 11 minutes, 47 seconds to go in the third quarter. Man, the time is ticking real fast in this third quarter. They've already burnt uh, three minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. It looks like it's a first and 10. It's good for the Alabama 24. Alabama, it looks like their defense is starting to slack tremendously. They've allowed Cincinnati to get about four first downs on this drive. And right now, Cincinnati, they're on the 24-yard line for Alabama. This may be the closest that they've ever gotten so far in this game. So let's see. Right now, we're about to see if this will be a threat. Let's see if they get it. Right now, it looks like uh, second and five on Alabama 19. 
Second and five on Alabama 19. Yo, Cincinnati, uh, I think they woke up. They came to play. So right now, third and five. No success right now so far. Third and five. 19, they're on the 19th still for Bama. Bama holding up right now. If Bama could go ahead and hold them off on this down, then right now they'll be able to go ahead and stop them with three. They'll leave them at three. So let's see what Bama does. It's going to be very interesting because if they hold them till three, um, and it's going to be a tough one. Ooh, it looks like it's fourth and five. So right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be uh, confident enough to go for it on fourth and five and be able to go ahead and score that touchdown. Uh, if they do, man, there's a lot of balls in this game right now to do that. But uh, I think they should just play it safe, go for the field goal, let it be done, and uh, just let your defense hold up on the next drive when Alabama gets the football. So it's about 10 minutes, one second to go, fourth and five. Alabama right now defense doing their part to prevent a touchdown. And we'll see if uh, Cincinnati will go ahead and go for the field goal or just go to see if they can get the touchdown. I usually say play it safe because a lot of these teams, they like to go for the, uh, you know, the fourth and five, you know, very early. And uh, it ends up screwing them over at the end. So right now it looks like the Bearcats did go for the safe, safe three point field goal. So right now Cincinnati is uh, getting the lead, getting closer to that lead. Not that close, but. Bama's up 17-6. Cincinnati scores the three-point field goal, and it's good. So right now, score update is 17-6. Bama's still in full control because they were able to go ahead and hold this shit off to three. So they're still in full control. And if they get seven on this next drive, man, it's going to be a uh, good night, Irene. It's going to be game over. I can't see them coming back if they go down 24-6. So let's see what Bama does on this upcoming drive. It's going to be an interesting, interesting drive right here. Third quarter, nine minutes, 57 seconds to go. Bama looking like the complete dominating team that they are. Still up by 11. I feel like they're going to get a touchdown on this one, especially if they move it within 40 seconds. They tend to score pretty fast. If they can score within like 40 to 60 seconds on this drive, yeah, I think uh, Cincinnati is going to want to pack their bags and go home early. It'll be something if like in football – if, like, if you were winning by, like, a certain score, they would just shut the game down, just like they do in, like, baseball. When you have, like, a shutout and it's, like, the seventh inning and that's it, you don't score and your, your team is winning something like 12 to zero, they shut it down. That would be dope if they did the same thing in uh, college football and pro football. Like, if you're losing by, like, 20, let's say you're losing, like, I don't know, like, 20 zip or you're losing to, like, 30 to zip or some shit, they just shut it down. I guess they don't do that because, like, it's uh, it's a lot easier to, you know, make, in, uh, make one of those illustrious comebacks, you know, those miracle comebacks in football and basketball. It's not that easy to do that in baseball. It's a little bit more of a tougher sport to do that shit, but we will see. Slap Nut Ninja 1 says, I disagree. He says, yeah, comebacks happen a lot. Very true. That's what I was just saying, that honestly, um, I guess they don't do shutout games like that because, again, in football and basketball, Yo, you could be down 25, 30, and you could come back and win by 14. So especially with the, the high scoring intensity in these games, um, college especially. College is always, always high scoring. Very, very rarely does a game end like 9-0, 6-0, 12-2, 12 shit like that. That's what I do like about college. Here we go. Here we go. More comments being dropped. The true... Heal Romeo. Change his name to truly heal Romeo. What do you truly mean by that, my friend? Rolling in says, roll tears, roll. Let's go Cincinnati. Oh, for the opposing team. Going for the opposing team. That's the first comment dropped for the opposing team. We've got a Cincinnati fan in the building. He's more of an LSU fan, if I'm being honest. But looks like he's going for Cincinnati on this one. He wants Bama to lose. Sorry, my friend. I need Bama to win. I've got an open bet. And if Bama loses this, it shuts it down. So 
Roll Tide Roll, my friend. Roll Tide Roll. We got uh, more comments dropping in. Slap Nut Ninja one says, I mean, if it was like 60-0 in the fourth quarter, maybe. Yeah, you're right. If it was like 60-0, yeah, that makes sense. Shut the game down. Uh, like baseball where they shut it down, you know, seventh inning. If it's a shutout game, they they cut the game off. Yeah, I agree. If it's like 60-0, 50-0, 40-0, the fourth, yeah, I say shut it down. Another comment from Truly Heal Romeo says, I like to drink Trulys. Not me, my friend. I like to drink Coronas, Bud Lights, uh, Stellas, Yinglings. Uh, what else? The one with the moon. I forgot the moon. Uh, Blue Moon. That one's okay. I don't like that one as much anymore, but certain flavors are good. Uh, we got the homie. Slap Nut Ninja one again says some big words from Romeo. Ooh, Romeo, this guy right here, Slap Nut Ninja says a lot of big words coming from you, my friend. Over here saying that uh, Cincinnati is going to win it big. And then Slap Nut also says battle of JD for me. Here we go, Romeo. He says, my friend, I don't discriminate. And then I can't tell if that is an emoji of a grilled cheese sandwich, a meatball sub, or if that is a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. <laughs> so I don't know. But he says he don't discriminate. No discrimination allowed. And then he also says, uh, except for Bloody Marys. Those are disgusting. And if you like those, you should get yourself checked. I have a lot of friends. Not me. I have a lot of friends that drink Bloody Marys, and I say that shit all the time. I'm like, bro, that, that drink is disgusting. Like, you can't enjoy that for football. You can't enjoy that for basketball. You can't enjoy that for baseball. If, you drop, if you're trying to drop panties, I don't think that's the best route to go. You feel me? Like, uh, I'm going to have to pass on the Bloody Marys too, man. So if you guys are fans of Bloody Marys, that's a no for me, dog. Uh, just like Randy Jackson would say in, in uh, American Idol. Uh, it's a no for me, dog, you know, right before they get eliminated. So, um, yeah, bro, I'm not doing that. We got the Jack. I got the Honey Jack for Romeo. He probably came on late. So look at this right here, my friend. You know, the virtual kind of messes it up a little bit, but you can kind of see it right there. Look, brand new bottle. Fresh with that. It's yo, it's so it's so cold and it's been in the in the fridge like all day that like it's literally like she's sweating right now. That's how serious it is. So we got the Jack and we got the Bud, like you feel me? We got the Bud, we got the, the you know what I'm saying? I already cracked them both open. I'm about to take a shot of some Jack Daniels. You feel me? Let's get it. Boom. We got Slap Nut Ninja says some wings and whiskey on game day is my jam. Yeah, I forgot to get the, I forgot to get the wings. I had, uh, what did I order earlier? Oh man, I ordered some shit I shouldn't have ordered. I ordered McDonald's. I had, uh, but I, I had some chicken there. I had a uh, crispy chicken. I had a uh, Big Mac and I had a fish fillet. So I had like three different uh, McDonald's sandwiches, you know, chicken, fish, beef, had a, you know, diversify. You feel me? Diversify, you know, like to keep it, you know, cool, calm and collected. The boy Eric, for those that don't know, this homie right here, cool dude, you got him on Instagram, says that's a no for me, too. <laughs> Yeah, he says that's a no when it comes to the Bloody Marys. Yeah, bro, I got a pass. Um, I don't think you're dropping panties uh, if you got Bloody Marys. And uh, it's definitely not being sold in sports events for a reason. Uh, yeah, when you pay 15 rocks for a drink at a sports event, it ain't a Bloody Mary. I could tell you that. So uh, that's like drinking uh, tomato, tomato sauce straight out of the can. It's disgusting. And uh, we got the homie right here. Truly Heal Romeo says, nice. And then we got uh, Eric saying, thanks, bro. Of course, giving giving my homie a shout out. Got to give everybody a shout out that shows love. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I got this on YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch in case y'all want to know what other platforms are there. Slap Nut Ninja says, we got pizza, wings, chips, and dip right now. Says, unfortunately, no alcohol, but you got the Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, I'm not going to lie. I used to, like, not really drink Dr. Pepper because I thought it was kind of like a downgraded version of, like, of like either a Coca-Cola or, like, a root beer or something like that. But it's, it's fire. It goes good with wings and pizza. I like it. It hits. It slaps. Definitely doesn't slap the nuts, you know, like the name says, but it slaps. It definitely slaps. Um, yeah, I'm about to take a shot of this Jack real quick. 
Let's go. Let's take let's take this first. Let's take this first one right here. This this, this is the first one right here. Yo, Jack never fails. Never. Whiskey never fails. How about that? Whiskey in general never fails. Well, I take it back. Whiskey can fail. For those of you that drink Jameson, oh my God, that shit. Disgusting. I can't even drink. I can't even drink that, bro. If I drink it, it's got to be with a chaser. It's that bad. It's terrible. It's one of the most disappointing whiskeys out there. Um, if you've never tried uh P, what is it called? P12, I think it is. Proper 12. Proper 12. That's pretty good. It's McGregor's drink. That shit's pretty fire. I like it. Um, let's see who else we got here. We got uh, Eric says he's got pizza and root beer. Okay. So we got a couple of people, you know, doing it big. I'm not going to lie, bro. I should have bought pizza. I ain't going to front. I've been wanting to get pizza for like a month now. And I've just been trying to stay away from it. You know, just trying to, you know, get myself little by little back into, uh, you know, working out again and all that stuff. So I've been avoiding the pizza. But I was thinking the same shit. I was like, yo, pizza, wings, and whiskey. Like, you can't go wrong with that. If I get hungry for the uh, for the second game, for those that are watching, by the way, I'm going to stream the, the second game as well. Um, yeah, bro. Um, whiskey, wings, pizza. That's a great combination. Root beer. All of that shit's fire. Homie right now says, get it. You already know. Yes, Jack Daniels will never fail you, bro. Jack Daniels will always show you love and support. No matter no matter if you're married, single, dating, it will never fail you. It will never fail you. And truly heal, Romeo says, a wise man once said it's a marathon, not a sprint. That wise man was me. Cheer right with this. That boy over here trying to use these, uh, these uh, cliches and catchphrases talking about, that was me. Get out of here. You know what they say? You know what they say, Romeo? To be the best, you got to be the best. Not beat the best. Like the way Ric Flair says, you got to be the best. If you just be the best, then you be the best. That's it. You ain't got to be nobody to be the best. You feel me? There you go. Right now, just to let you guys know, 17-6. Alabama still up by 11. Six minutes, 59 seconds right now in the third and it looks like Cincinnati has the ball back, second and 10 on Cincinnati 29. Well, it looks like I had digressed for a bit there. You know, we out here talking about drinks. And, hey, we out here to talk about it all. You feel me? It ain't just about sticking to the game and being professional. So everybody that's dropping a like and a comment, appreciate it because, uh, you know, it makes the live stream more diversified. You know what I'm saying? When you guys drop comments, I'm going to keep putting them out there. You feel me? Uh, Eric Slapnuts Ninja wants to know. What kind of pizza you got? What kind of pizza do you have for this game today that you watching? You feel me? We want to know. Inquiring minds would like to know what kind of pizza. I know when I get pizza, I usually got to have, you know, like pepperoni, bacon. Um, you got to have sausage, paws, no pun intended. Uh, you got to have, you know, all kinds of stuff because uh, I don't like just plain pizza. And by the way, if you like, if you like pineapple on your pizza, uh, you you get the hell out of here. That's all I got to tell you. Whoever thought of that Hawaiian shit or whatever fruity, that fruit pizza, yo, that's the worst. If you make that pizza, bro, uh, you just need to, if you like that chef, you, say, you, should, you need to retire. Please retire. Um, he said, Slap Nuts says, in my personal opinion, weed won't fail you either. Maybe that's just me, though. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I got to agree with that, too. You know, we got to I feel like you got to do things, man, to get your mind off of shit. I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't. This might sound like I'm like I'm lying because, you know, my friends know me pretty well. But this ain't no cap right here. I, I think I haven't smoked. I want to say in like a year. Honestly, or close to 10 months, 10 months, maybe a year. And it don't feel like it's been that long. But I'm thinking back and I'm like, yo, I think it's been that long. Now, drinking, that's a little bit different, I think. Uh, I've been drinking every like, you know, I'll drink every like, you know, two months, every three months. I've been slowing down on drinking, too. But uh, yeah, no cap. Weed will not fail you guys either. Yes, it will not. It will help you in so many uh, different ways, uh, especially health wise, not just mentally, but health wise. It helps pretty good. And then uh, Slapnut says, thank you for the update. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, I'm keeping you updated. You know what I'm saying? Right now, 17, six still. Cincinnati right now is fourth and four. Uh, they're on the Cincinnati 35 at the moment. 
Uh, Cincinnati is not going to be making any threat to the score. There's six minutes and three seconds remaining in the third quarter. So this should be a punt. Unless they pull up some wild shit right here, this should be a punt. So uh, Bama should be getting the ball in a moment. Most of the third quarter has gone by, and so far nobody has changed the score. So it is still 17-6. It's been like that since the second quarter. There hasn't been much of a threat. Uh, Slapna also says the three meat peaks are all the way. No pun intended. But, yes, the three meats are meat lovers. No pun intended. Yes, uh, that's cool. Uh, Eric, hey, Slapna, Eric says that the classic pepperoni today. Classic pepperoni. So, uh, yeah, sometimes you got to go with that. You know, just keep it simple. Classic pepperoni sounds good to me. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes just getting a nice slice of pepperoni, just chilling. That shit is a vibe right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Eric says, I agree. Pineapple doesn't belong on peak, so that's right. You know where pineapple belongs, guys? You know where pineapple belongs, guys? It belongs on the table with mangoes and oranges and bananas and apples. It belongs in a fruit basket is what I'm trying to say. A fruit basket. That's where it belongs. It's a fruit. It belongs with the fruits. Don't put it with the pizza. Somebody should slap you in the face for that. You know what I'm saying? Or kick you in your knees. You know what I'm saying? No pineapple with pizza. And uh, Slapna says, now nah, Cincinnati scored three this quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Actually, yeah, you're right. My bad, guys. Correction. Slapna is correct. It was actually 17-3 uh, at halftime, and Cincinnati scored three points in the third. So that is correct. He actually got me on that one. Yes. So they did score three. Uh, they needed seven, though, if we're being honest, because uh, three, that ain't going to really do much. So uh, let's see. Eric says... Since he since he is hanging in there, I, I agree. Cincinnati, you know, they, they're trying, they're keeping it close. It's only 11 points. Um, you know, and you know, with college football, I mean, anybody could score like 12, 15, 18 points, like it's nothing. So there's still a there's still, you know, a pretty good time. There's six six minutes in the third, and then you got the full fourth. So I think it's gonna go down to the wire. Um, unless Alabama scores now because they've got the football now at the Alabama 26. So we see we we'll see how that's gonna turn out. Um, Slapna says, yep, this is a classic. It's good. You, you're right about that. And then Eric says, that is my vibe today. That's right. Yep. And then Slapna says, no problem, man. I got you, bro. So right now it looks like, uh, yeah, looks like defense. Defense right now seems to be playing solid, uh, for both teams at the moment. There hasn't been too much of a score shift. Only the three points by Cincinnati. Nothing by Alabama as far as scoring in the third. They did all their damage in the first half right now. So we'll see. Interesting game, Georgia versus Michigan. It says that the fewest points allowed this season. Georgia has allowed nine and a half points on average this season. And Michigan has allowed 16.1 points per game on average. So that's that's an interesting stat line. So if I had to predict the, the final outcome of the game, I'm going to say that Georgia is going to win it by seven. The spread for that game is minus seven and a half. I like how Vegas always likes to play games and they try to like, you know, they try to screw with your money. They look at what the stat sheets are for the average uh, for each teams and then also against the defense. And then they kind of like calculate and then they go, okay, let's put it right here. Minus seven and a half. Georgia's favored minus seven and a half against Michigan. That's a very, very iffy, uh, it's a very iffy uh, point spread to go with, if I'm being honest. Minus seven and a half. And then the over and under, 45.5. I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough one right there because if they if they both start blowing each other out, you know, through offense, it's going to be an easy over. But if they play really good defense, like right now, Bama and Cincinnati, it's a low-scoring game, 17-6, and there's only five minutes in the third remaining. So it's like, you know, it might be, a, it might be the other way. So – that minus seven and a half, Georgia, that's tough. Um, I feel like Georgia's going to win, but I think it might be by seven, seven points on the dot. So that seven and a half is tricky because that means you're taking you're taking the bet for Georgia to win eight points or over. I don't know if Georgia's going to win by eight. I mean, not saying they can't win by eight, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's eight's going to be good for me. I, I would take – I'd take Michigan plus seven and a half. I might be wrong, but I, I'd take Michigan plus seven and a half. Not to win the game. Just to cover the spread on the seven and a half. Um, Slapna says they playing decent. Play, they playing decent D. Uh, I'll give Cincinnati credit. They deserve to be here. They deserve playoffs last year too. 
Well, there's a that's a different opinion because I know a lot of people were saying that uh, Cincinnati don't deserve to be here. There's a lot of people that were saying that they kind of like skied their their way to the uh, you know to the end. And uh, they're, they're, granted, they're 13 and 0, right? So they're 13 and 0. But are they a solid 13 and 0, or are they kind of like a fluke 13 and 0? So I guess this game is gonna is gonna kind of provide that clarity soon enough. Um, Slapna also says I'd rather Michigan win it. I really don't want to play Georgia again. I like Georgia, but they will be coming at Bama hard for that rematch. So that's a very interesting uh, comment. And here's the thing. So here's the thing, Slap. I'm going to fill you in on what the scenario is with this college, these college football games. So I have you know, a little low-key bet with my friend. And basically what I need in order for me to be able to win, I need for Bama to win tonight, right? And then I need for Bama to lose at the championship. It's a it's a tough way to, to explain it all, but that's basically what I need. I need Bama to win tonight, which is what's holding so far. And then I need Bama to lose at the championship in order for me to 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 win against uh against my friend with the bet that I got going. So I have to go for Bama tonight. By default, I have to go to ba- you know for Bama tonight. Now the reason why I'm going for Georgia is because Georgia. I think will be coming full force to try to beat Alabama. And that's why I want to see the rematch because I think I have a better chance of winning the, the, the national championship bet. If Georgia goes up against Bama, if Michigan goes up against Bama, I don't see myself winning that bet. I'm not going to feel confident winning that bet. So we need Bama tonight, which it looks good so far. And then I, I don't need Georgia to win, but I would prefer Georgia to win is what I'm saying. I would prefer Georgia to win because I feel like I have been a better opportunity for Bama, you know, take out that anger and frustration from the loss that they had, um, that blowout from, uh, you know, from earlier. So uh, that's what I need. Eric says pick. Uh, Eric, I think you're talking about the Michigan game. I'm picking Michigan seven, uh, plus 7.5. I'm picking Michigan plus. I think since I think uh, Georgia's going to win, but not they're not going to win by eight or more. I don't think so. I think Michigan is going to try at least to put up a fight. So I, I'd say Georgia Georgia wins the game, but they don't cover the, the point spread. I think if you're going money line, money line, you'll be okay. But if you're going point spread, you're probably going to lose. Minus seven and a half looks very iffy for the uh, for the uh, Georgia team. So that's how I would go. Money line, Georgia, point spread, Michigan. Uh, Slapna says, but two years in a row undefeated. I think he's talking about uh, sin at that point. And he also says that hurts, but I won't hold it against you. Yep. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a Bama fan. I'm just supporting Bama today because uh, it's it's what's going to keep the bet alive. So I need Bama to win tonight. And then between Georgia and Michigan, it doesn't matter at that point. So s- score update, guys. Uh, Bama had the ball for a while. They were making a bit of pressure. But unfortunately, they did not get close enough to be able to go ahead and score. Uh, Cincinnati has the football. They're third and 16 at the moment. Um, And it looks like they are on the 43-yard line on their own side. So they're just about to make a threat over the 50-yard line in a moment. And the score is still 17-6. to And now three minutes and about 15 seconds have run off the clock. So there's not much time left in the third quarter. So score is still 17-6 with Bama up at the moment. And right now, Cincinnati has the ball. We'll see if they make a threat before the third quarter is over. Right now, not looking too good because it's third and 16. But this has been a very interesting live stream today. I knew that a lot of people were going to want to tune in for this one. Hopefully, you guys are getting your drink on. Let me go ahead and take a little little, little beer and uh, another shot in a moment. Woo! Beer, yo. It'd be refreshing. No cap. Especially after like a workout or something or after a live stream. Fire. Here we go. Another shot of that Jack Daniels. The honeys. Yo, bro. That honey. Too sweet, too sexy. Woo! Let's get it. Has anybody else uh, got any interesting food 
or any uh interesting adult beverages that they uh that they're drinking right now about to real quick real quick let me uh let me see something right here All right, so what's the score? It's still looks like yeah, it's still 17-6 right now. So um nothing has changed just yet. Nothing has changed at the moment. All right, so let's see if Cincinnati's going to do something on this drive, man. Um, man, I can't wait for that Georgia game. I want to see that one. That's going to be an interesting game right there. It's going to be interesting. So what's up? What are the plans for tonight? What do you guys got going after the college games? Is anybody going to be going out? Is anybody going to be hitting up like a bar, a club? Are y'all going to be, uh, you know, having a party at your house? Um, you know, what's popping? Like, what's popping? Like, what y'all doing tonight? I know I'm spending it at the crib. I'm going to be drinking. I'm a, I am got this live stream going, and then we're going we're gonna to have the second live stream going. So if y'all want to tune in for that one, too, uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll get it popping for, uh, for the second game as well. Oh, okay. For those that don't know, the homie, the boy. The Cuzzo, this is the Blood Cuzzo right here. Lionheart Will, matching on the shot. Yep, I just took my second shot of Jack Daniels honey. You know, got to keep it sweet and sexy. Got to get that honey. Took my second shot of that. Got the first beer right now. Uh, first beer is about halfway done. About to wrap that up and get that second beer. And uh, yeah, so it's good right now. We got a pretty good cast of members here. Got people here that are friends and family on this so uh yeah my cousin says he's gonna match the shot so he's about to take a shot himself right now he's about to be vibing chilling for those that don't know my cousin also uh does music so uh, i'll make sure to send you guys the links uh once i get the opportunity send you guys the links you can hear his music music's hot fire hot fire like that curry chicken you feel me and uh giving anybody and everybody shout outs for showing support my boy Eric says he's just chilling in tonight. Same thing. I'm just chilling. We're just going to be here vibing, drinking, live streaming. You feel me? I don't know. If I feel good, I might just uh, might just let this live stream go all the way to midnight. You feel me? And we can enjoy the countdown right here. Y'all can stay tuned. And, uh, you know, we just vibe out. We just vibe out right here. I wish that uh, I could play music because it would be dope. We could vibe here in the live stream. You feel me? And just... Uh, I could play music for y'all, and that would be dope. And we could just be hitting the, you know, just hitting shots, drinking beer, and enjoying it till midnight, uh, till it hits that, you know, that countdown. Uh, but you know how it is. The platforms they don't let you play nothing because you play it, boom, they copyright it, and they turn they turn the feed off in like thirty seconds, so we can't do it. But uh, that would be dope. Slapna says, "Oops, sorry, was trying to get your YouTube link, but you must not have commands to do that." um i think i could put it in the comments for you bro let me uh let me get you that give me a sec here i'll get it for you so if you want to share it uh i'll let you know right now give me a sec i'm gonna give it to you right here uh, i should have the link here for you so let me see i got you we about to we are about to make this live up in here you feel me keep inviting more people so we could uh you know we could go ahead and uh keep everybody interested there's a lot of people that don't want to go out. So, yo, just vibe right here. You feel me? There it is. Slap now. If you look there, it should have the link. Uh, it, sometimes it auto generates it twice. So if you click on that, um, that link should be able to share it so that other people could jump on the platform, be able to watch and tune in. And he says you can play NCS music. Of course, of course. You already know. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, anybody else who wants to share the link, it's in the comments section here of the live chat. You can go ahead and send it out, and you, we can just be vibing. You feel me? 
Y'all want to take shot for shot? Let's go. Score right now is still 17-6. First and 10. Alabama is on their own 44. One minute and 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. So right now, uh, Bama was able to stop Cincinnati again. So good job on the defense. Right now, defense has been coming up big for both teams. Uh, there's only been three points scored so far in the third quarter. That was by Cincinnati. Other than those three points, there has been no other scores uh, thus far. So the third quarter is almost over. Um, Cincinnati is still keeping it close. So, you know, can't doubt them just yet. But I'm going for the roll tide on this one. We're going for Bama. I think Bama's going to come up with the victory. So I'm going to stick with Bama. Right now it's second and nine. Alabama's at the 45. There's only 42 seconds now remaining in the third. So that third quarter is about to run dry. It's about to end. Anybody else order pizza tonight? So far, we got two people on the platform that ordered pizza, some wings, some root beer, some Dr. Pepper. Me, I already ate my, uh, I know it's not the healthiest or best thing, but I had my McDonald's earlier. Had me a uh, fish filet, a Big Mac, and the crispy chicken sandwich. And speaking of which, I think McDonald's, they trying to steal, they trying to steal the idea from Chick-fil-A because I tasted that crispy chicken sandwich today for the first time. I'm going to say this. That's a knockoff of Chick-fil-A. Yo, I'm going to tell you why. I'm very analytical when I look at stuff. And that crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's is most definitely a copycat. You want to know why? First of all, it has the same flavor and the same taste. It has the same crispiness. The buns even look exactly the same like the Chick-fil-A buns. And on top of that, you know what they did to really try to throw it in Chick-fil-A's face? They put no cheese, no mayo, no sauce, no nothing. All they did was put two pickles. They put two pickles. That's the number one on Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A's number one crispy chicken sandwich is just like that. It has a specific look on the buns. It has only two pickles, no sauce. They definitely copied that shit from Chick-fil-A. That's boof. It tastes good, though. I'm not going to front, but they, they boofing right now. All right, guys. The third quarter has officially ended. No score change. Bama still 17-6. They still up. So right now, if Cincinnati is going to make something happen, bro, you, you got to make it happen. You're running out of time. The score may be close, and it may be only 11 points, right? But, yo, time's running out, son. You got to make it happen. This is, you know, the, the winner of this game is going to the championship. Y'all got to play like it's for a championship. You feel me? Cincinnati right now, man, they're keeping it close. They're doing good on defense with that offense. That offense ain't been doing shit right now. They only scored three, three in the third. And then in the first half, they only scored three. So they got a total of six. Ain't much happening with that. So they need to wake up. Homie Eric drops comments saying, uh, LOL, I'm not going for Bama, but they will win. So he's he's not going for Bama, but he's saying as far as the win, they're going to win. I think Bama's going to win, and I think Georgia's going to win. I think we're getting a rematch. We're getting that rematch. Eric says, definitely a knockoff. Yep. For sure, they definitely copycat in Chick-fil-A. It's a definite knockoff. And not only that, you want to know how you know they're copying uh, Chick-fil-A? Because even the wrapper that it's in, it looks like it looks, it has the silver, it has like the little silver tin, tin foil on the inside. And then it's like, you know, like the plastic white on the outside. I'm like, yo, this, did I order from Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I think I did. McDonald's stealing Chick-fil-A, bro. They stealing from Chick-fil-A. They playing. They finessing. Talk about a finesse. Why are you tripping on finesse? Feel me? That don't make no sense. Joshua pulled up, says, this is better. What's better? Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, or are you talking about the game? Let me know. Which one is better? Slap Nut Ninja's here, by the way. So, Joshua, are you friends with Slabnut? And are you guys streaming in the same room? Or are you guys streaming in two different areas or two different houses? What are y'all doing? What's How's the streaming going on? All right. So, the fourth quarter still has not yet started. But I feel confident to say that even though it's an 11-point game right now, I feel confident in saying Bama's still going to win. I'm not going to change the answer. I still feel Bama's going to go and get that done. Since I'm getting a little bit bored, I'm going to take another shot. Shot number three. Here we go. Woo! 
that third one was like a little bit tastier than the first two. No pun intended. Pause. But yeah, the first two was like, all right, cool. The third one was like, oh, okay, hold up. Now we waking up. You feel me? Oh, okay. He says, uh, I am slapping up. Oh, so you got like two, two YouTube, two profiles or something like that? Or maybe you switched over the platform? All right. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's going. All right. So Bama has the ball. Qu quarter number four, guys. Last quarter. 15, uh, excuse me, 14 minutes and 53 seconds. Second and 10 on the Cincinnati 44. Bama getting close. And Bama right now looking to scale, to get that score to uh, 24 to 6. It looks like they're about to score 7. Uh, I think this is the drive. I think if they score 7 here, we, we uh, I said, we got the victory. It's over for uh, Cincinnati. Um, I just think Cincinnati hasn't been doing enough to get into the red zone and done enough to even try to make a threat on the scoreboard for them to be able to, uh, you know, to catch up still a lot of time, of course, but if, uh, if roll tie scores here, I think it's over for Cincinnati. I'm going to be honest. My cousin says shot number two for me. Salute. So he's got his second one in. I just got my third one in. And, uh, yeah, we still got the beer over here on the side, about to start drinking that. And then, uh, looks like Josh said, uh, pretty defensive game overall. And he says that he, uh, he switched platforms. He has two different accounts. Hey, man, if you want to live stream on both accounts, that helps too. You know what I'm saying? That's actually good because, uh, if you live stream on both accounts, basically that's going to help out with the, um, you know, with the view time. It'll help the view time go up, which is cool because, you know, the more the view time goes up, the more people pull in and the more people come in, you know, just it should get shared to more to more uh, subscribers. So it's all good. You want to run it on two, man. Run it on two. Run it on five. Run it on ten. Shoot. Let that let that go up. Josh says cheers. Indeed. Oof. Oof. Look at this game right now. Bama has only burnt right now. Only burnt 30 three seconds in the fourth quarter son and it is second and one right now second and one on the cincinnati four damn deep in the red zone bro i told you i think bama's gonna score the seven on this one it looks like they're gonna come up unless the unless that uh bearcats defense comes through for two downs i think if i'm alabama i'm going for it all every down i could get i don't care if it goes to fourth and one i'm going for it because bro it's it's do or die right now. And you on the four? Shit. I'm using every down until I get the touchdown. I don't care. And if I come up short, I'm still up by 11. So I think Bama's going to score the touchdown right here. And if it comes down to the fourth the fourth and one scenario, I think they're going to get it. Oh, just right when I'm saying that, Alabama, bro, they get, they get, they get pushed back for five. It's going to be second and six, Cincinnati nine. Looks like a false start. It's all good. It's all good. Still think it's going to be a touchdown on this drive. That's for sure. Let's see. Eric says, since he can't do anything on offense, that's what I'm saying. If if you play phenomenal defense, but you don't score, I mean, that's it, bro. You can't win. They say d defense wins championships, but I think uh, in the modern era, that has changed. You feel me? Um, I think now offense wins championships. It's not defense anymore. Lionheart Will says, cheers to Josh. So Josh is cheering right now. My cousin Lionheart Will's cheering. You know, I already been cheering. And uh we getting it, we getting it right now. Josh says, I'm visiting family in Bama, so I'm on my phone. Otherwise, if I had my PC, I'd have all your channels try and help you out, fam. Help you out, man. Uh get those views because you are pretty chill. Oh, thanks. I uh, appreciate it, Josh. Hey, however you enjoying this, brother. Um, cell phone, laptop. Uh, PC, uh, whatever, tablets. It also streams on tablets, too, if you have tablets. So, yeah, um, it's dope. You're streaming it on the phone. It's all good. It's all good. Appreciate it, no matter what, because you're still here vibing. So whether it's one platform, one device, it's all good. If it's multiple, even better. And then uh, Josh says, thank you, thank you, Will. So Will, uh, Will's my cousin, by the way. And uh, Josh says, cheers to you, too, my friend. So. They both salute each other. My cousin cheered on to Josh, and Josh, excuse me, Josh cheered uh, Lionheart Will. 
And then Eric says, ball game. Ball game. I guess so, guys. 24-6. 24-6. Score update. Bama gets it. I told you. Bama was going to get it. They was not going to be denied. They moved that football up to the red zone literally in about 33 seconds. The, the fourth quarter literally just started. And in the first 33 seconds, Bama was already over there, like, threatening the red zone, bro. It's crazy, man. I was like, yo, if they do that, they did that. They did that in the second quarter when they were up 10-3. They were up 10-3, and it was like 35, 36 seconds that they wasted. They only used up 36 seconds. Um, and it was like a minute and I want to say a minute and like, what was it like? A, no, it was like two minutes. It was like two minutes and 11 seconds. And they only used up like 35, 36 seconds. Then they left Cincinnati with time to score and Cincinnati didn't do nothing. They did nothing. So once I saw Bama moving like this, I was like, oh, Bama's about to score again. And guess what? They did. Bama's up, guys, 24 to 6. I think the, the Bearcats, I think that's it, bro. That's why I put Eric's uh, comment up. He said ball game. There's still, there's still uh, 13 minutes and 45 seconds to go in the fourth. But unfortunately, I don't think Cincinnati has enough offense, man. And if they do, they just don't have it against Alabama's defense. Unfortunately, Alabama's defense uh, has, been, has been playing close to perfection. I won't say all the way perfect because they did allow six points, but they haven't allowed a touchdown. So it's like close to perfection. You know what I'm saying? They allowed three in the first half, and then they allowed three in the third quarter. So think about that. That's pretty damn good. Pretty good defense. So right now, I think Bama's going to hold up. I think Bama's going to get this victory. Let me not even say think. I've been using the word think a lot. I know they're going to get this victory. But now with that with that touchdown and that one-point field goal, put them up 24-6. Cincinnati, I think it's going to be dead. I wonder if my boy uh, truly heal. Romeo is still on here because he was on here earlier. He did say Cincinnati uh, was probably going to go ahead and take this one. I wonder if he's sticking with that because right now it's not looking good. It's definitely not looking good. J Josh says, uh, "Cheers to Eric as well." Sorry if uh, sorry if I didn't if it didn't go uh, your way for the game, but I'm pretty happy for the Bama W um, when or if it happens. So. Um, yeah, I think Eric wasn't necessarily going for Cincinnati, but I think he just didn't want Alabama to win it because he's not a Bama fan. So I think that's what it is. And truly heal Romeo says go Michigan, Georgia. So what does that mean? My friend, does that mean you're going for both Georgia and Michigan? <laughs> you can't, you can't pick both teams. <laughs> what does that mean? Does that mean go as in go, you ready for the next game, or go as in uh, you're picking both teams to, <laughs> to win the game? Oh, shit. Yeah, Cincinnati might be for done done. I think they're for done done, for done done. It's first and 10, Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. At Alabama's 29. Did we speak too soon? They're getting close to the red zone. Did we speak too soon? We will see. It's getting super close. 11 minutes, 57 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, man. I don't know. Uh, Romeo says, anyone but Bama. Listen, man. Listen, I'm in agreement with you. I get it. I don't want Bama to win the championship, but I need Bama to at least win tonight. They've got to at least win tonight. If they win tonight, but they lose at the championship, we're okay. At least I'm okay. I don't think my friend's going to be okay if Bama wins tonight and then they lose in the championship. He's not going to be very happy about that. Uh, my, my homie, real big dog. I don't think he's going to be very satisfied with that result. However, I will be. I'm going for Bama tonight, and then I'm going for the field uh, at the championship. The field. Yeah, you, heard it, you heard it right. The field. It means everybody. So um, second and four, guys, on the Alabama 23. Cincinnati got six yards. And they're getting close. And there's 11 minutes and 12 seconds in the fourth quarter. So, uh, woo! Did we talk too soon, guys? Are we talking too early? Are we giving Bama the win before Bama gets the win? Uh, are we uh, are we overzealous at the moment? Josh says, let's go Big Blue today. He says, sorry, Georgia, but my wife is a Michigan fan. 
And I'd rather not be in the doghouse tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. Josh, you funny, bro. Well, hey, you got to root for, uh, you know, you got to root for your spouse's team. You're, you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, I tell you what, you got to make sure you get that victory because uh, if if uh, if Michigan loses uh, and you planning on getting any New Year's Eve panties, it won't be happening if Michigan loses. So you definitely want to get that Michigan victory. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Eric says, I'm an LSU fan. I hate Bama, but no way I was going to pick them to lose this one. That's right, guys. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Eric is an LSU fan. Um, yeah, he's a cool dude. We talk a lot on Instagram about, you know, like college sports. We also talk about WWE and, of course, gorgeous women. Um, but uh, I digress. But, uh, yeah, he's a cool dude. He likes LSU. He likes LSU. Um, also, Romeo is an LSU fan as well. So I'm pretty sure there's some rivalries in here right now uh, for the people watching because we've got some Bama fans. We've got some LSU fans. We've got some Cincinnati supporters. And then we've got me. I'm none of those. I am neither an LSU fan, a Bama fan, nope, a Michigan fan, nope. None of those teams. I am a fan. No, I'm not even a fan of Georgia. So I'm just rooting for certain teams for certain given situations. You feel me? So that's what it is. Uh, some people already know who I'm a fan of. If you're on Instagram, you already know who I'm a fan of. If you're on Snapchat, you already know who I'm a fan of. So they didn't make it. Terrible season. But I did show my team support. Y'all already know who it is. If you don't know, follow me on Instagram, Coach King Zeus. You'll find out very quickly. It'll only take you a few pictures to figure it out. Woo! Truly heal. Romeo says, go Tigers. Okay, so Romeo over here trying to show support to Eric because Eric is an LSU fan as well. So we got two Tigers. Two Tiger fans in the building. And uh, we will see, my friends. We will see how this uh, how this goes out. I'm, 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 I'm uh, ready to see that, uh, you know, that next season. This season didn't work out for a lot of our teams, but I'm ready to see next season. I think next season is going to be uh, quite interesting. Let me see what else we got here in the comments. Uh, we got Josh says, I'll root for LSU when not playing Bama or Georgia. LSU is my fourth favorite college team. Fourth favorite. I wonder, okay, so you you like LSU and then, of course, Michigan for your wife. So here's the real question. What's the other teams you like? Is it Bama and Georgia or there's two other teams in your top four that you like? Eric says, dang, why? And then he says, um, my favorite college teams are LSU and whoever is playing Alabama. So basically, <laughs> Eric likes LSU and the field. So anybody playing against Alabama, you know he going, uh, he going for them. And then uh, Eric put these emojis to you, Josh. He's over here. Uh, you laughed at something that you had posted earlier. Josh says that and that and I have family from Michigan too. He says, and you for real, true that, bro. Uh, he's like, go get some of that. Go get some of that later. Yep, you better make sure Michigan wins, son. Get that, uh, you know. That Uchi Wally Wally Uchi Bang Bang. You feel me? You got to get the Bang Bang on. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. You feel me? Get a little Chitty Chitty with a little Bang Bang. We got Josh over here. Josh says, Eric, you got me rolling, bro. That was funny as fuck. No offense taken, man. I get it. Bama and OSU are probably the two most hated teams. There you go. Eric says, I saw him at the LSU game dressed in a gator costume with Sasha Banks shades. <laughs> Damn, Eric did it. He blew up the spot. <laughs> Eric blew up the spot. He blew it up. Yep. I was a uh, true story. I drove to um I drove to the LSU game this year. Big rivalry game, right? I know both teams obviously didn't have the best, the best overall records when they faced each other, but um, at that time, it was pretty competitive. I think LSU, if I'm not mistaken, LSU was 3-3 at that point, and we were 4-2. I want to say we were 4-2 because I know we lost We lost a close game to Bama. Uh, Bama came, you know, to the swamp, and we almost beat them, but they beat us by two. It was a high-scoring game, 31-29. Uh, and the other game that we lost was a terrible loss. We lost against the 
University of Kentucky. Should have never lost that shit. Um, had we beaten Kentucky and and not lost to Bama by two points, um, we would have been 6-0. Momentum would have been great, and I think we would have had a great chance this year to, to do something serious. But I think the loss to Alabama destroyed the, mo the motivation for my team, and then losing to Kentucky basically buried that shit six feet under at that point. You feel me? So um, that was tough. It was tough. It was a, Those were two tough heartbreakers. From there, the rest of the season just were terrible. So there it is. Eric, he uh, he blew it out the water. Yep. I pulled up in LSU, drove out there. Uh, LSU, again, was 3-3. Three, three. Uh, my team, the Gators, 4-2. And uh, big-time rivalry game. Um, fans, like 98 99% LSU and maybe like 1% Gator, maybe 2% Gators out there. It was flooded with Tiger fans out there. Um, I'll tell you this, man. LSU Tiger girls, fine as fuck. I can tell you that much. And all of them showed me love, even though I wasn't wearing a Tiger costume. Um, I've got photos with Mike the Tiger, not the real Tiger, but the mascot. And um, there was a good, it was a great game. Drove out there. It took me about 10 or 12 hours to drive. The game was about four hours long, maybe four and a half. After that, I took pictures with a lot of fans. Um, even though I wasn't at LSU, you know, I wasn't rooting for LSU, took pictures with a lot of the fans. Um, and then from there, I drove my ass right back to Florida. So literally, I had like two 12-hour drives. Uh, so I did 12 hours, then four hours at the game, then 12 hours right back with no sleep, no meals, no water, no nothing. I just... I just like thugged it out. And I remember uh, I was in a live stream with my boy Roman. He says, I don't know how you did that shit. How could you have driven 12 hours with no food, no water in your system, then go to a four hour game, you know, full with excitement, intensity, adrenaline rushing. And then right after the game, you drive 12, 10 to 12 hours back home. So that was the longest fucking 26 hours of my life. That's what I could tell you. That shit was nuts. The next time I do some shit like that, I got to get a hotel. I just. Uh, I didn't really think it through too much. I just bought the fucking tickets and said, I'm going peace. And I drove my happy ass down there. So that's what uh, Eric is talking about, where he says I dressed up in the Gator costume and had the Sasha Banks shades because I have I had the green costume on with the red shades and the red shades say legit boss on it. And in the middle of the shades where it says legit boss, it says Sasha Banks right in the middle in like small letters. It says legit boss really big on the shades. Those shades, those shades are dope. Fire. I've been a Sasha Banks fan for a hot minute. Girl's cute as fuck. I know she's married, but damn, she cute. Um, but yeah, that's that was that's how that whole shit played out. So yeah, uh, hopefully I get to visit LSU Stadium again soon. Uh, Eric says, "Go Tigers!" And uh, Eric says, "Where are you from?" At Truly Heal Romeo. So Romeo, me and him had went to school back in the day in. Uh, uh, we started off in fifth grade, which was elementary, then middle school. And then ironically, we separated in high school. But we didn't know that we actually had went to the same high school because our high school had three different schools. It had one for like mathematics and science, one for humanities. And I forgot what the fuck the other one was, but I know there was another one. So he was on one of the other sides and I was on math and science side. And we never knew we were going to the same school. So technically speaking, we went to almost every grade school together uh pretty much and then we still been friends ever since so he's uh he's from new york i'm from new york too but i live in florida now um and he does a, a lot of stuff with wwe stuff so if you guys i know some of you guys in here watch wwe stuff so by the way even though this is a college stream uh you know go to the channel it's called true hill heat true heel heat t-r-u-h-e-e-l heat h-e-a-t it's all one word it's a youtube channel they do pretty good content. They do AEW. They do WWE. Uh, I don't know if they do also like uh, Japanese wrestling and all that other stuff, but it's pretty well-rounded. It's one of the best platforms out there wrestling-wise, bar none. Uh, no matter. There's a lot of other platforms saying that they're better at wrestling shit. They're not. I, I viewed their shit. Some of these people got 700 videos with like 200 followers, and they only get like three views a video and don't have nobody fucking watching. So. They, they got the channel. You want wrestling? Go to their channel. That's the channel. I'm not just gassing it up because that's my best friend, but that's that's just the facts. Josh says, Bama, Michigan, Georgia, and LSU in that order. So Bama number one, Michigan number two, Georgia number three, and LSU number four. 
That's what Josh says. It's his order of top four teams that he likes in college sports. And he says, I feel you, bro. And then uh, my homie Romeo says, uh, Eric, he's responding to you. He says, NYC, I became an LSU fan from my time living in the Northwest Florida. I would go to New Orleans almost every weekend for a three-hour drive. So, yeah, he used to be in the military, and he used to travel from where he was stationed over uh, to the uh, to the LSU to the LSU um, area. And here's the thing. Here's the irony. He's an LSU fan. I'm not. But I got to experience the LSU experience before him. So there's the irony, my friends. I got to experience it before the LSU fan. You feel me? Now we got Eric says, how is that possible? To root for LSU and Bama. <laughs> I don't know. That's college for you, my friend. And then we've got uh, Lionheart Will says, man said a little chitty chitty with a little bang bang. I'm still laughing at that one. <laughs> That's how you got to do it. A little chitty chitty, a little bang bang. You know what I'm saying? If you Either that or a little uchi wally wally, you know, uchi bang bang. You feel me? But you got to get the bang bang one way or another, whether it's with a ch little chitty chitty. And a little bang bang or some uchi wali, however you want to do it. Just make sure y'all get it done. Make sure y'all y'all tap in those cheeks tonight for New Year's Eve. You feel me? And then Joshua says, Oh, so you're a Gator fan. He says, My sister-in-law's fiance is a Gator fan. They were at the Bama Florida game at the start of the year. Oh, you know what, Josh? If they were at the Bama game, depending on where they were sitting, though, because I was sitting, uh, I, I was sitting front row, but at that time for the Bama game. That was my first ever college game, believe it or not. That was my first time experiencing a college game. Um, and I said, fuck it, I'm going to go front row. And then since I love the experience, I ended up splurging, bro. And I bought like five or six other, uh, 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 five, I think five other season tickets games and then one road game, which was the one to LSU. So they might have seen me. Who knows? Um, I know if you go to the Gators uh, Instagram page, there's a video with me on there. And also, I don't know if... Um, if your sister-in-law's fiance follows the Gators Instagram religiously, but if she does, she probably seen me in the green Gator costume, and you probably you guys probably don't even know it. So she might have she might have seen me in the costume um, on there because uh, they posted me like three or four different times. Uh, I got pictures with uh, Albert and Alberta and all that shit. So yeah, I've been and I've been on TV like three or four times already. Um, no cap, no cap in there. So. So, uh, yeah, you guys probably see me on their official IG or she or at least she might have seen me and probably don't even know that you're friends with the uh, the Gator boy. You know what I'm saying? Eric says I'm from Louisiana, so I've been an LSU fan since birth, basically. So, yeah. So, Eric, LSU from birth and Romeo is a fan from the times that he used to travel in the military. And then Eric says uh, that is brutal, bro. Yeah, that drive, son. I'm telling you, bro, I don't even know how I made it there to the game and back, bro. I thought I was going to pass out eventually. I'm not going to lie. My eyes were heavy, heavy. And, uh, yeah, it was tough. I should have I should have rented a room or something. Plus, the like I said, the LSU chicks, fine as fuck. I should have probably stayed an extra day just for that. Some LSU girls. Oof. I mean, I don't know what it is about college games, y'all, but them, them skirts get smaller and smaller every game. <laughs> you feel me? Like, they get smaller and smaller every game. From the cheerleaders to the fans, and then you meet a lot of a lot of like I don't know, just women of all ages, man, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties, and they all looking good. So, yeah, uh, always a great experience. Always a great experience. Real quick before I go to the comments, let me see what the score looks like. Ooh, Alabama has scored a field goal, which brings the score twenty-seven to six. I apologize, guys, that I digressed there. We were just reminiscing on the comments, which you know. Makes the uh, live stream even better. So I'm not complaining. 27-6. Um, uh, yeah, man. Bearcats didn't do anything uh, since those three points that they scored um, earlier in the third quarter. Bama just scored a field goal. There's six minutes and 20 seconds remaining. And unfortunately, I'm going to say that the game is done. We're going to still watch the game and still see, you know, you never know what can happen in six minutes, right? Maybe they scored 21 points in six minutes. Maybe they'll score seven points every two minutes. Who knows? I doubt it. I'm just bullshitting. But, you know, we'll keep we'll keep streaming it to the end. But right now, the Bearcats have it first at 10 of their own 25. Uh, Bama's up now by 21 points. They, these guys have got to score three touchdowns and three one point field goals in order for them to be able to uh, to win this game. I don't see this shit happening because it's the last quarter. Six minutes, 20 seconds to go. There's your score update in case that, uh, you know, I forgot to give it to you guys because I know it's been a while. We've been 
We've been vibing here on the uh, stream with the comments. Josh says, same for Bama. Lived in Bama for 31 years. Now live about 10 minutes from Lucas Oil Stadium. If you know what city, then you know. If not, then you don't. So I've heard of Lucas Oil Stadium. But to be honest, I'm not 100% sure where it's located. I've seen it. I've heard it. But I've never been to it. So I'm being honest on that part. Eric says, Indy, where the national championship is. Let me see what Josh said. Josh says, so if Bama and Michigan make it, then my wife and my teams will be in the same city. Okay. That'll be interesting if it's Bama against Michigan. I think if it's Bama against Michigan, bro, that's going to, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to gas it up, but I feel like it's going to be too easy for Bama. I just think could be wrong, man. I don't know. I just don't follow Michigan enough, but I feel like I don't know if they have enough firepower. Eric says, would you do a live stream for a wrestling show? So, um, yes, of course. Uh, my platform right now, I've been doing a lot of the, like the college and pro sports, but, um, again, I want to diversify. I never, you know, I never would knock off a conversation of any topic that you guys would want to talk about. Um, ironically, I have been on a live stream for wrestling. It just hasn't been on my channel. It wasn't on my channel. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it on my channel. It just hasn't been on my channel. I did it on actually Romeo's channel. Um, he has a channel with like five or six of his friends. Uh, these guys are funny as fuck. I'm telling you, if you guys, even if you don't like wrestling, guys, even if you don't like wrestling, just go to the channel for the fucking comedy. You know what I'm saying? Because they've got good comedy. They, they've got good shit talkers over there too. Just like me. I'm a great shit talker. I'm all about comedy. You know, we're talking about sports, but I like talking about other stuff in between. And, um, their channel is good. I've been on, how many times I've been on their channel? I think just once, right? I feel like it's once. I don't know why I thought two. I feel like it's only been once. But the one time that I did show up to his channel, I will say this. Um, you know, typically I drop comments and I make them pretty funny and pretty crazy too. But we did have one time where I was on the channel. Um, you know, he had started with like eight people on the channel. And then, uh, you know, some people had to leave, you know, for, you know, their own reasons, whatever. So it went from eight people to about five and then eventually went down to three. So I said, you know. Maybe it's a perfect opportunity right here, you know, to jump on the live stream. You know, I don't I don't keep with I don't keep up with all the wrestling as much, but, you know, I have the gift of gab. So holding a conversation obviously isn't that difficult for me. So let's get on the channel. So I said, yo, if you want, man, I'll fill in the seat. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're coming back. So I got on the channel and I'll tell you guys this. We were on the that 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 one live stream was a total of about four hours. And I was on it for about an hour and 20, an hour and 30 minutes. And we were just bullshitting and roasting and just the jokes were like random as fuck. We were making fun of uh, one of his friends. Um, one of his friends uh, was eating the granola bars and he wasn't supposed to be eating the granola bars because they're for his kids. And his wife, she's supposed to be asleep and she pulls up, starts checking the cabinets and noticed the granola bars are missing. <laughs> and that boy looked he looked like a five year old has stolen has stolen candy from a candy store or a cookie from the cookie jar and grandma was about to slap his hand that shit was epic so if you guys like not only just for the wrestling but just comedy and bullshitting and just jokes and roasting you'll like the platform so you should go to their channel if you like it too um josh says oh shit thank you for your service romeo yeah so rome uh he wanted to go ahead and thank you for that for your service to the country uh yes and same for me thank you for uh, the service to the country for the time that you spent there. Uh, Romeo says, thanks, Josh. So Josh, Romeo wanted to thank you. Romeo says, yes, sir. I mean, Josh says, yes, sir, to Romeo. And Eric says, dude, I truly hear Romeo. You need to hit up an LSU game. I was glad I was able to go to this year after missing last year. Yeah, I told him, I said, yo, if we can ever find a way where LSU has another game and and we're able to go to it, Yo, we should try to find a way to connect enough of us to go to a game so we can all sit together and just vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's all about connections. And uh, 2022, I'm trying to grow as many of my connections as possible because we got to make sure, you know, we grow. We help we help grow each other's, uh, you know, like mentality. Uh, we get each other inspired, help each other to grow platforms. You know what I'm saying? Help each other make money, like all that kind of shit. Go to live events. You feel me? That's, uh, that's what I think uh, life should be about. Uh, we got Truly Hill Romeo says, yeah, man, it's on the bucket list. And he's talking about, you know, going to the LSU Tiger Stadium. We got Josh says, oh, shit, I'll have to check it out and show him. 
Uh, some love. See if he see if he did see you. Uh, we got Eric says, especially Saturday night for a big game. And Josh said, agreed. Same. Thank you for the update. He says we got we got to catch up. Love when football brings people together. I agree. Football bringing people together and just uh, sports and WWE, everything in general. And uh, Eric says LSU is loaded with hot women, but this is a college in general, basically. Yeah. Women everywhere. You go to these uh, college games, LSU, Florida Gators, uh, Alabama, that Bama game against Bama versus Florida at the Swamp. Bro, them Bama chicks be fine as fuck, too. I ain't going to front. The way they make these country girls, woof, Lord have mercy. Then we have Eric says it's going to be Georgia versus Bama again. I feel the same. Uh, Romeo says there's a pay-per-view tomorrow night if you guys want to join. So uh, I'll see if we if I can get on that one for sure to listen in. I'll be dropping some comments. So, guys, tomorrow's a pay-per-view if you guys want to listen to their live stream for the WWE uh, or whatever you know wrestling pay-per-view they're going to be covering. Josh says, I've been to New Orleans back in 2008 for Impact. Uh, it was a mission trip to help rebuild Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, that was a tough situation back then. So, you know, appreciate what you did for uh, for helping the those out there that suffered that destruction. Eric says, that would be awesome, bro. I might be heading to the swamp this year. Hey, if you go to the swamp, you let me know, brother, and we'll see. We'll pregame, hang out. You feel me? Um, it don't matter if you're not a, you know, a Gator fan. You'll enjoy the experience. The swamp. Just like Tiger Stadium, regardless of if you're going for the team or not, it's an experience of a lifetime. Um, the closer you get, the better. But it's going to be an experience no matter what, regardless. It's going to be a good experience. So we'll pregame and have some fun. By the way, guys, score update. Uh, right now, uh, Bama has the ball first and 10 at their own 38. There's only three minutes and 10 seconds to go. So I'm going to clear this game over for uh, Cincinnati. They have no chance at this point. They'd have to score 21 points in three minutes which means that's basically a touchdown every 60 seconds, which is not going to happen. So looks like so far my bet is still alive. Now that Bama is going to win this shit, now I just need them to lose at the national championship. So thank you, Bama, for winning this game oh so very much. By 21, you made it even prettier with that. So you're up by a complete blowout, which is exactly what I said. I think the next game is going to be a little bit closer, if I'm being honest. I don't think uh georgia's gonna blow michigan out i think it's gonna be more competitive i think that one is gonna be one to look out for josh says it may be four people here but this stream is litty litty bro yeah to be honest with you the 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 stream is weird because like you'll look at the stream and like sometimes it'll say four people five then seven then eight then three then two it's weird because sometimes i think that uh, it's based on like the internet or something like that. Like sometimes it's a weird number. Cause when I did the, uh, I don't know if you were, I don't know, Josh, if you tuned in for this one, but I had a stream, uh, two weeks ago, I think it was for the Jake Paul fight. It was Jake Paul versus, uh, Tyron Woodley part two. And it's crazy because it started out with like 10 or 12 people. Then it got to like 30. Then it went down to like 15. Then it went up to like 44, 45. Then it dropped down to the twenties. Then that shit skyrocketed to like 75. Then it went back down to like 40. And then it went up to like 100. So it just like, yeah, it just fluctuates. So, yeah, we always try to make it as lit as possible. I don't care if it's one person, three people, 10 people, 100 people. The most I've ever had was somewhere between 75 to 100. And that was for the uh, the boxing fight. A lot of people tuned in for that one. Um, they were in and out. And at the end, is is ironic because at the end of that boxing, even though I had reached between 75 to 100 people, the live stream ended up somehow with a total of like 370 or 380 views. So that means that there was a lot more people that actually tuned in than what it shows on the top corner. Because on the top corner, it makes it seem like there's only X amount of people. But then when the video is done and it uploads, it ends up showing a whole bunch of more views than what you actually seen on the screen. So it's very, uh, you know, the number is very iffy. But at the end of the day, like you said, Four or five people, bro, is still lit. It don't matter. You don't need 100 people to be lit. You know, you can be lit with the right amount of people right here. Josh says it's Liddy Liddy. Um, he says Liddy Titty. <laughs> Eric says, like the Vince McMahon theme song, no chance in hell. That's right. There is no chance in hell that the Bearcats are going to come back and win this game against Alabama, being down 27 to 6. With three minutes and change, bro. Not going to happen. 
Josh says, this is my first time here and I found you by chance. Glad I did. Oh, man. Thank you so much. You know, I thought about that for a second because I've seen your name, uh, Slap Nut uh, Ninja. And I was like, have I ever seen him before in a live stream? And I wasn't sure if I did. Like the name sounded cool, but I wasn't sure if I actually had seen you. So it's cool that you tuned in because, uh, you know, you tuned in here. You got to get better familiar with me, with Eric, uh, you know, with Josh, with my cousin Will, uh, you know, my friend earlier, um, Real Big Dog. Uh, his name's Jamal. So, you know, you got to jump in and and get a little sample size, a little taste of, you know, kind of what this is. Typically, what I do on these live streams is I'll usually give even more plays. Like typically I'll tell you like, oh, you know, the quarterback threw it to number 58 and, you know, for 13 yards, it's a first down. You know, I usually get pretty specific on these live streams, but I figure today's New Year's Eve. I figure we just wing it. You know what I'm saying? No, I was like, fuck it. We just, you know, we just let it ride. You know, we enjoying drinks. We having a good conversation. So I figured why interrupt the interaction in our conversations to give every single stat sheet when I could just go ahead and just you know, provide you guys, you know, updates in between the conversations. But typically, if you see some of my older stuff, you'll see that uh, I'm usually just giving every play, every touchdown, every first down, every second down, every third down, every, you know, how many yards, how many penalties. So I figured tonight we could just, you know, we could just vibe, just wing it. You feel me? Nothing uh, too crazy. And we just here chilling. And that's just uh, it's a good thing that you found the channel. Maybe you'll uh, you'll come by again soon and you'll enjoy some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? More content. Uh, Josh also says, nice to Eric, says, I used to live like 20 minutes from Tennessee and uh, 40 minutes from the Mississippi line. So uh, speaking of Tennessee, I love Tennessee. I went there twice this year. One time I drove, the other time I flew. Uh, I don't think I'll fly again because I hate flying. Uh, I like driving better. And then, you know, they got all these uh, mandates. And to make sure my video doesn't get flagged, I'm not going to say what the mandates are. But y'all know what the mandates are, so that's why I'd rather not fly. I'd rather just drive over there, especially I got a newer car. So why not? My cousin Lionheart Will says, I'm still here. Let's take a shot with the guys uh, for sure. I mean, we could go ahead. I'm going to take another one right here. If uh, take one with my cousin Will, if any of y'all want to go ahead and jump in and if y'all got something to take a shot with, go ahead and take a shot. If you got a beer and you don't got something to chug, uh, I mean, if you don't got a shot to, you know, alcohol to take a shot, just chug a little beer. You ain't got to chug the whole bottle, but. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and salute. Uh, right now, it's uh, I'm on Eastern time, so 6.58 Eastern. We've been vibing. We still got more time to go, so here we go. Boom. Salute. Here we go. Woo! I feel like every sip, I take just more. You feel me? I feel like I take just more and more every time. Oh, that one was good. That was good. All right, back to the comments. Josh says this account is for enjoyment on YouTube. He says my SNN account is for content. Uh, well, was for content. With four kids, it's hard to make content anymore. Um, yeah, you know, I would say, you know what you should do if if it's hard to make content by yourself, right? And you have four kids, and you know you got to watch them all the time. Just start making content with the kids. Make comedy content with the kids. Um, it might actually be funny, and you might actually get people to watch. You might you might actually grow your channel faster with the kids because I've noticed that people love watching kids doing crazy shit or stupid shit or whatever because it's relatable. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well just throw them in there, throw them in the mix, even if they're babies, throw them in the mix, find a way to make it a funny scenario. I remember here's a here's a true story, Josh. You might want to consider this for your, uh, you know, for your channel. Um, I was watching, I think, Snapchat and somebody posted a TikTok and on the channel. Uh, the baby, it was like a maybe a two year old baby, three year old, very small baby, but he knows how to walk and crawl and stuff. He was laying on the floor crying. Right. But uh, he wasn't crying hysterically. He was just like on the floor, his face, his head facing face down to the floor with his hands like this. He's on the floor like that. Right. Like acting like he's knocked out. Then there's a little speaker next to him and the speaker is playing some kind of romance music. His dad recorded it. Um, and he's like, two, like I say, he's like two years old. So he don't know what's going on. His dad recorded records it and he puts the caption. He puts a caption that says something like, um, when your biggest crush breaks your heart and leaves you. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. Cause I was like, bro, the way the baby was posed on the floor and the sad music that was playing in the background, that shit was hilarious. I was like, bro, 
this is just too funny. I was like, this, this is legit what it feels like when you're heartbroken. You're listening to like sad, a sad love song and you're just like laying on the floor, knocked out, not knowing what the fuck to do with yourself. And it was funny because he used the baby. So, you know, I figured give you that idea and that suggestion. It might work for your uh, for your channel. And, uh, you know, use your kids, whether they're babies, teens, whatever. You never know. You might uh, you might grow the content like that. So just an idea. Uh, Josh also says uh, he likes the state. He hates the football team. Uh, Tennessee, are you referring to Tennessee? Because if you are, yeah, same thing. I love Tennessee. I don't like their team. However, I have a good friend that she is a Tennessee fan, and uh, she thought the the, the Vols, because I, I, I went front row for the Vols as well, and that game I had the Gator costume on. Um, she thought the Vols were going to beat the Florida Gators at the Swamp. I was like, bro, please, we may not be a great team, but we is not losing to the Vols. I, I'm sorry about that one. So, yeah, we ended up crushing them. We crushed them. Uh, they had Was it the Vols? Damn, I'm trying to remember. Was it Vanderbilt? I know we – I think we played Vanderbilt. I can't remember if we played the Vols. Damn, I'm losing my memory, you know? That drink starting to hit, you feel me? So memory starting to run a little bit short. I can't remember every single detail. Um, Eric says, oh, Tennessee is a beautiful state. Yep. Tennessee, a beautiful state. Um, very, very nice scenery. Again, beautiful women. I know I said that shit before about these other places, but Tennessee, beautiful, beautiful women. And if you go on Halloween, woof. Jesus Christ, them Tennessee girls and Halloween is no joke. I don't know which one is it's tough to pick between the Tennessee and the Florida girls for Halloween. Lord have mercy. Just like uh, Uncle Jesse used to say, have mercy. That's how I was all day long when I was at uh, Tennessee, man, for Halloween. I went to Halloween over the, uh, this year. They were smoking hot. I can't even post uh, all the pictures. That That's how smoking hot they were. Um let me see what else. Uh, Josh says, just curious, you're going to cover the uh, Georgia-Michigan? Yeah, I'm going to cover the Georgia-Michigan game. It starts soon at 7.30. Let me see what Bama's doing. Oh, guys, Bama's officially over, if you haven't already known that. 27-6 is the final. The, the fourth quarter is officially, officially over. So there is no more uh, play time. Alabama wins by 21. So that game is done, done. But I'm going to finish these comments, though. Um Josh, yeah, I'm thinking of hosting the Georgia-Michigan game as well. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should just – because typically what I like to do, what I usually like to do is I'll I'll, uh, I'll stop the broadcast. I'll start a new one. That way if there's any, you know, new people that want to join and they only want to – you know, they only care about Georgia or they only care about Michigan, um, they could jump on the feed and be able to go ahead and watch the live stream just for that specific game. So I can do one of two things. I can either start a new broadcast and uh, you guys can go ahead and jump on that. If you're already subscribed and if you hit the bell notifications, it should notify you of what, you know, of what's coming up next. So I can either turn this off and turn on a new one or just keep this one running. Um, it's up to you guys. You know what I'm saying? This one, when we finish, if I turn it off, it'll still be available for you to see it again. So if you guys want to recap some of the comedy, the jokes, the game that we talked about, it'll be available on YouTube. Twitter and Twitch. It'll literally load it um, on the platforms as soon as I'm done uh, with the broadcast. So if you guys want to stay on the stream, we can. If not, I'll just make another stream and we can start inviting all the Georgia, Michigan fans. Uh, Josh says, yes, Gatlingburg is gorgeous. Eric says, I went to LSU Tennessee game at Nayland in monsoon, 30 to 40 mile per hour and pouring down rain. Woo, that sounded like that sounded like a whole kind of different party. Josh says, thought about it. My 13-year-old would probably enjoy doing that with me. Hey, you never know. A uh, 13-year-old might be interested in that. And if they are, it makes your channel even better. Josh says, thank you for the option, man. I didn't think about that. My kids, uh, but my kids are spread out in age a lot. Older two are stepkids. They're, they're mine, though, 13 and 8. Biological ones are three years and eight months. Uh, if you want to get super comedic, the three years old and the eight months will probably make it more um, you know, funnier. Rome asked a million dollar question, which also was asked a couple minutes ago as well. If I'm going to do a new live stream or what? Uh, yeah, I think I should just do a new live stream because I don't want people to get confused. I don't want people to jump on and see Cincinnati Bama in the background and they end up uh they end up confused. So uh, if you haven't subscribed already, guys, subscribe and hit the bell so that way when I start the new broadcast, it'll send you the notification and you'll know what's up. 
And then uh, Josh says Florida is a tough place to play in. Mad respect for the year they did uh, with Tom. Pretty tribute when he passed. Uh, yeah, it's true. I also got a picture with the coach. Uh, so that was dope. Josh says, who's Romeo? Uh, that's my best friend. And then Josh says, my vote, start a new broadcast. Uh, I agree. So, guys, we'll do that. We're going to start a new broadcast. I'm about to shut this one down. I read everyone's comments. Didn't leave any comments out. Just wanted to show everybody love. So I'm going to start a new one. Um, you'll see me change the names for the background. I'm going to create a quick, just a quick photo for the background so nobody gets confused. And then uh, we'll get started. So it starts at 730. So if you guys want, go ahead and uh, take a piss break, take a shit break, get some more beer if you need to, get some more alcohol. And uh, I'll be back in about 20, about 20, 25 minutes. You'll see me here and we'll be ready to go. Thank you guys for joining the broadcast. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes and the subscriptions. And give me about 20, 25 minutes and we'll get the new broadcast going. Take care.